Hey guys, this is Mafra with the second episode in my series, It's a Mod's Life. In the series, we're exploring what it's like to be the moderator of a multiplayer Minecraft server. In our first episode, we explored our server, which is uh, play.skyblocker.com. If any of you guys are not on that server, come join us. So in this episode, we'll be exploring the different types of mod ranks and the jobs that those mods have and the types of commands that they have access to in order to do those jobs. So here we are, we're, uh, we're back in my island, and I'm going to pop over to our spawn area. And I think somewhere around here is a list of the staff. And we'll just uh, explore this over here. So this is the, the current staff list, and we can see there's a few different titles out here. So uh, in the center here is our fearless leader, Dubstep Clown. He owns the server, and he's at the, uh, the top of the food chain. We then have uh, three admins, Mafro Rific Me. Uh, Carpe Cervesia and Snapdragon and then we have uh, Timinated who is a mod plus and we have uh, three mods MHB this is Master Hero Brave repeat and then we've got uh, Tidora over here so there's different types of, uh, of colors here and different types of mods and so we're going to explore who they are and what they're uh, what they're doing um, the uh, the first type of mod is uh, just a, a straight mod and uh, Pete MHB and uh, Tidora are our mods, and these are actually chat mods. They're responsible for all this stuff down here in chat. So, and I should I should probably say so. We have 14 people on right now. I should probably say that every server is a little bit different, and so what we're seeing here is how Skyblocker is set up. But I think the general themes are fairly consistent. So it's fairly common for there to be moderators who are focused on chat, and moderators who are focused on other areas as well. So a chat mod is responsible for making sure that chat is, uh, is appropriate. So in, uh, on, on Skyblocker, we have uh, players who are as young as 8 years old. I think I've seen people who have said they're as young as 8, uh, all the way up to people in their 50s. And we have families that come on. We have uh, parents and children that play together. And uh, we've made the decision on, on this server, really Dubstep Clown has made the decision for this to be a family-friendly server without bad words or profanity in here. So if people uh, are typing in things that are inappropriate, we actually have a profanity filter. So if you try to type in a bad word, it should be most of the time replaced with a clean variant of that word. But there's always people that want to get around that or do things that are otherwise uh, inappropriate. And in that case, that's where a chat mod can deal with the problem. And they have a couple tools at their disposal with commands. The most frequently used is probably mute. and uh, Mute is used just the way I'm typing it here. You can type a player name here. Like if I wanted to, uh, to mute uh, Timinated, I would type slash mute Timinated. And then I would have a particular time period like 10M for 10 minutes. And when we see players that are saying things that are inappropriate, if they're harassing another player, if they're being mean, if they're attempting to use profanity or implying profanity, then uh, we will give them a warning. And if they don't heed that warning, it's possible for them to be muted. And a mute, uh, if they continue to misbehave after that, will get longer and longer, and at some point may eventually be escalated beyond just muting. Um, or at the very least, they may be permanently muted. That's also a possibility. Now, the other command that uh, mods have is the kick command, and that's the same uh, type of structure where you can kick a player, and it simply kicks them off the server, and it's really a wake-up call to them. They can, of course, log back in, but it's a way to remove someone from the server for a moment and... Uh, really wake them up and make sure that they're paying attention to what the moderator is trying to, to, t to tell them. So that's, um, that's what a chat mod is. And again, we have uh, three chat mods on the server at this time, Tidora, uh, Repeat, and uh, MHB. So in addition to chat mods, there is a mod plus. That's the prefix that um, a game mod gets in front of their name. And we have uh, Timinated. We have Timinated, our uh, uh, mod plus, currently on the server right now. And you can see here he is right now. And uh, mod pluses have all the abilities that chat mods have. They can mute people and they can kick people, but they get a bunch more abilities as well. The most effective one is ban. Now, we don't use ban lightly. We really want people to enjoy the server, to have fun. But if someone, someone's idea of fun is to make it not fun for other players, then that's where a ban can potentially come in. And a ban uh, works pretty much the same way that uh, the others do. It would just be ban player name, and that, that player's ban. They can no longer get on the server. Um, after the player name, you can even have a reason for the ban. And it works like, a, you know, this player has been banned for 
being too silly. That wouldn't be a good reason to be banned, but if I were to type this in right now and hit enter, then if there was a, a particular player, they would be banned from the server, and when they tried to log on, it would say, you are banned from this server for being too silly. So it's a way of, of communicating uh, to a, a player the reason why they've been banned. Now, in addition to ban, there's also such a thing as a temp ban, where it's possible to ban someone, for example, for a day or three days or longer. So uh, these are the types of things that are, are ways of um, really helping keep the server uh, operating the way that the, the staff would like it to operate, which is make sure people are having fun, it's clean, and it's not inappropriate. Now, what things might a player do that could get them to be banned? Well, if you'd like to be a moderator, you've you got to know these things. So we've already talked about what people could do in order to get muted, right? So uh, using profanity, attempting to get around the profanity filter, harassing another player, those types of things where they're misusing chat will get you muted. So what could possibly get you banned from the game itself? Well, that's where we'll go over and we'll explore the rules real quick. Uh, there are rules here, no cheating. So if there's a, a player who has loaded a, a mod, uh, in other words, a modification, onto their client of Minecraft that is uh, causing them to cheat, that could potentially get them banned. Um, if they are harassing players uh, outside of chat, that's possible. Um, other examples of harassment might be uh, inviting players to your island and then throwing lava on them to kill them or setting up a trap for them to kill them and take their things. Um, we don't, that, that's really not the right thing to do here in this, in this game. We don't do that here. We do have, for, for those that want to have a little uh, action against other players, then we have the, uh, the PvP arenas, that's player versus player, which uh, you, you're always welcome to go to. And anything goes in the, in the PvP arenas. So if you're in the PvP arenas and you get killed and you lose your stuff, well, you probably shouldn't have brought it in there. That's what the PvP is for for players to take out their aggressions on one another and to, uh, to beat them up and take their things. Right? Right. So um, other things that a, a, a player could do to, uh, to get banned would be uh, harassing the staff themselves, um, advertising other servers. That's a, a general no-no on most servers. We don't like people to pop on here and then immediately be talking about, hey, guys, there's this other server everybody should go to, because then we just get spammed incessantly with... Uh, with harassing advertisements. So if people do that, that's a good way to get banned. Now, in most cases, the staff will give uh, warnings first, but if, uh, if someone just comes on, it's not uncommon for someone to pop on the server for just a moment and advertise another server. That's just a straight ban. You'll just be banned, and we won't really uh, give you any time to, uh, to defend yourself. If you've ever uh, received a, a punishment such as a ban or a very long mute that you believe is unfounded, Players are always welcome to go to skyblocker.com, that's the website associated with this server, and to uh, request an appeal and uh, say, hey, this, you know, I'd like to have my, my sentence revoked or, or made less because of this, that, and the other, and come up with some reason why it shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't be banned or you shouldn't be muted, that sort of a thing. So going back to the, the mod plus or the game mod, uh, the most common... Uh, um, command is, is, is slash ban, and I should point out all commands begin with a slash. There are lots of other commands, though, that mod pluses have. Uh, one particularly useful one is called island dev, and there are a number of different island dev uh, commands that uh, mod pluses can do, and one of these is to teleport, to TP, to any island we want to. And I'm just going to do this right now and go to uh, the island of a player who's uh, not on at the moment, but who has just a really cool island, and I figured I'd, I'd show it off while I'm uh, talking about this. Hoho -Ho is uh, is quite the character. And just looking down at Hoho's -Ho Island, you can see there's a lot of uh, color and things. And here we go. This is what happens when you come to Hoho's -Ho Island. Whee! So it's an exp it's like a rainbow just just exploded, and um, lots of fun stuff here. So using the island dev command, we can get certain information about players and uh, teleport to anyone's island. And uh, there's lots of other things that we can do with that. I'm not going to go into all the details, but um, other powers that the Mod Plus has is that we are effectively added to any island. So we can open chests if we want to to see what's, uh, what's in, and we can open doors and other things like that. Now, by default, you must be explicitly added to an island before you can make any changes to an island, such as building on it or opening doors, gates, uh, opening chests, that sort of a thing. And, uh, but, but mod pluses have that ability. We can essentially lay uh, blocks and destroy blocks uh, at any island. So here's, a, here's kind of a cool statue that Hoho -Ho made. I thought I'd show this off. 
Ho-Ho seems to be a, a large piece of chocolate. That's a chocolate wrapper right there that uh, is dressed in a suit. And Ho-Ho, I'm pretty sure, has way, way too much chocolate, as you can tell by the island. And apparently also has a thing for chickens. This is an awesome chicken here, though. This is uh, pixel art, they call it. But very nice Ho-Ho. So uh, going back to uh, Mod Plus's ban, temp ban, and, uh, and other abilities. Oh, check out this rocket. That's cool. Lots of creative people here on this uh, on skyblocker.com. Com. Come join us if, uh, if you're not already on the server. Show off what you can do. So uh, there are other commands as well that, um, that uh, mod pluses get, but I'm not going to go into those too much. Um, and beyond that, admins uh, have, uh, have uh, further commands. So going back to, to spawn real quick, we'll once again check out the, uh, uh, the different staff members. And we can uh, recall we've seen uh, the mods. We have Timinated, our, our current game mod. And we have a handful of admins and an owner. Now, I should mention that the staff list is fairly fluid. In other words, it changes fairly regularly. Staff are not permanent. It's uh, not uncommon for a, a staff member to be added or to leave uh, in any given month. So this is where our staff is right now. But you know, sometimes people move on to other games. They get too busy to be able to spend the time on the server that's necessary in order to be a moderator. And, uh, and there are sometimes as the staff uh, or as the, uh, the player base grows, we may need more staff to, uh, to keep uh, watch on things while there's uh, people on the server. Right now the server is fairly small in terms of the number of players. It's still a fairly brand new server. And so uh, it's, uh, it's enjoyable. We have a nice little culture here that has grown up. Everybody's pretty friendly. And I have to say, I've been talking about these different commands. Most of the time, I don't actually use commands. Um, most of the time, as a moderator, all I'm doing is I'm helping players. So players ask me all the time, um, hey, I'd love to be a, um, a, a moderator. Hey, Beastie. I'd love to be a moderator, and I want to help people. Can you make me a moderator? And my usual response is, you know what? You don't have to be a moderator, and you don't have to have these special commands like mute or kick in order to help people. In fact, it's almost impossible to actually help people with the command mute or with the command kick. So most of what moderators do and most of what I do is simply find players that need help to, uh, uh, to play the game, uh, help them solve problems, uh, help them just get comfortable on the server. That's really what moderators are generally doing. And so if you want to be a moderator, if you want to help people, then um, I would say start by helping people. And in fact, that's how I got my start. I started off on this server as a player like anyone else uh, just a few months ago. And in our next episode, I will actually cover my story and how I became a mod. And what we'll do then is we'll talk about how you might be able to become a mod, if that's something that interests you. So thanks, everyone, for hanging out with me. Uh, this is the end of Episode 2. I hope to see you in Episode 3. Bye.